Yo, what is good, Lorenzo? Long time no see. Can't believe we're live again. Heck. So different. <laughs> Happy to be back, ladies and gentlemen. Make my microphone a little closer. Hope I sound okay. Let me know in the chat how we're sounding. It's a little bit different than usual. Happy to be back with all of you here tonight. As we are finally going to get a game here to stream. It is going to be Purdue against UCF. Uh, Tampa Bay is UCF, I believe. And it is going to be YG as Purdue. Oh my god, it's been so long. This is so different. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, yeah, we do have to worry about having to know the teams as they are different colors and everything else than what they're intended to be. However, of course, the content remains the same. Still wonderful stuff here from Football Fusion 2. And I must say, I know you guys have been hearing about the new game that has definitely dropped recently from Cloudburst. And of course, we will be streaming some ultimate football content as well as the LFG expands into that as well. I appreciate the love, you guys. You guys have been awesome so far. I appreciate the both of you. Happy to be back. <laughs> this is definitely something different. For sure, ask away, Lorenzo. How to stream uh, unfortunately that is something I can't really help you too much on because it is based on like your specs and stuff for your computer so I definitely recommend you look up a YouTube video on someone that could definitely rec uh, basically guide you a lot better than I could put it like that man but um, in terms of everything else once you have all that set up I mean it's up to you what you want to do really it just be yourself when you stream whether you want to commentate or you want to play the game and just react to it and be yourself. Or if you want to, you know, it doesn't even have to be this game. Right side rollout and away we go as Purdue starts off with possession. And our first game back as a deep pass is thrown across the field to begin the game and complete. The number 23 was the intended receiver. Left side rollout. The pressure coming in to start off the game in a sack. As UCF will see the number 99. A defensive end able to get a stop. And back of the end zone we go. UCF in trouble. The ball thrown shorts. And that will get the first down. First and 15. Purdue amazing offense redeeming themselves after the loss of yards after that sack said roll out his hails they're looking to throw it short fakes the pass goes for the rush instead and a three yard gain on the play right side roll out as hails has been trying to really look around the edges here for an opportunity backed away good pressure again from the UCF defense, 13 yard gain that will get the first and 15. Ronald able to get a good play into that one. Pressure coming in again, a two man rush as Hales backing off, moving out to the left side here. Ball thrown deep and it will be caught, but an illegal touch is called. Will be called back second and 15. Seen some good opportunities here and there from this Purdue offense. Really trying to use the edges here 
and they'll use it again this time a 60 uh, the number 62 the 13 yards third and two of said rollout Hales again might be looking down the middle this time throws it short instead close to the number three it's a one yard gain that'll be fourth down and they will be going for it Backed away, moving out to the left side instead, up by the sideline. Ailes makes a pass to the right, caught, and gets an open lane. Will might look to go all the way down the field, and instead, looking to stall time. I'm not sure what that was there, as that could have been a simple touchdown for Purdue. Left side rollout, and instead going out to the right. No, moves it left instead, shaking off the defender. The pass thrown, it's caught! And a touchdown! Butter able to get the first touchdown here tonight for Purdue. Six points. And now the extra point attempt as Hales lines up here. The captain of this wonderful offense. No good. Deflected away. UCF a little bit quicker on the reaction there. That was a great stack as well that they did after the hike. There goes Merce onto the right side. Good pressure coming in already as Merce to the 35. A good return nonetheless. Interesting to say the least uh, a little bit of a uh, content again from football fusion too It's been a while since we've done much again. So everything just feels so different again Ball throw with the deep pass again over the head and this is gonna be picked off Purdue With momentum as Hales yet again the leader of the pack able to get the interception right over the defender or sorry the wide receiver as that will get a first and 15 down at the 20-yard line after the touchback is called. We're going to be switched over here. So ignore the ball cam real quick. Oh, I forgot they fixed that. Here we go. Yes, sir. Big shout out to Dewey. I saw your uh, stream a little while ago. I, didn't, I was just lurking, though, unfortunately. Uh, I was going to say what's up, but I ended up getting a little bit busy. But hey, man, the game looks pretty fun. I've also uh, found something cool about that game. Uh, so you said the puck was pretty bouncy. They do have some like, um, at, not attributes, but perks or whatever uh, to change the gameplay. Uh, but only, of course, for your players. So that sounds pretty badass to me. I'm not going to lie. Upside rollout. Which teams are which? Purdue is NYG and uh, or the blue team. And uh, UCF is the red team. Uh, EB. That rollout right after the high third and six here for Purdue. Their second offensive drive. They got this one off an interception from Hales, who's been orchestrating the offense. But here's the number 12, the wide receiver, doing a great job of getting away from defenders, but moving backwards, loses the potential amount, potential amount of yards on that play. We'll get first and fifth nonetheless. Hales moving out to the left here. Good pressure from the number 99. Right on him with a pass stone short cut up by the number 62. TR gain on the play after the tackle. Yeah, it does definitely seem a little frustrating, but it, I mean, hey, we love games like that. That'll be called out of bounds. Does get the reception, but that will be down. First and goal. Big pass again, and this time aiming for the legs midair as Hales gets down second and goal. Tackle made there, 42 seconds. The ball thrown high arc, incomplete. Almost getting to the number three. That'll be third and goal. Big pass again, cuts, and a touchdown! Ryan's death one will get the touchdown here for Purdue. Their second offensive drive 
once again successful. They missed the extra point last time. They'll go for two to make up for it. Left side rollout. The ball thrown. It's caught. Two points. Count it. As tough, able to dive inside, able to get the reception, and two points for his team, making up for the uh, extra point blocked on the first offensive drive. Put on 25, the GOATs. Also, one of our fellow moderators and one of my best friends, of course. Big shout out to Woodall25 in the chat. Appreciate you. We're always looking for new content. I might, I might uh, give it a try, Dewey. It seems pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I might give that game a go. Backing away now. The pressure coming in for this defense as the pass on to the right side. First down will be called as Merced going out of bounds after getting the reception going to the game here so first and 15 moving along to the left here wide open receiver now looking to throw it there and set those it to the right this one's tipped away incomplete the number three getting an arm on that one 12 seconds left a very uh one-sided game so far in the first quarter but again, things could definitely change. Only a two-possession lead as Dime getting the catch. Dime EQ, the YouTube sensation and TikTok sensation. Be down third and sixth to end off the first quarter. Starting off the second. I touch soccer. Uh, we've actually been looking to stream touch soccer game play. And it's picked up! And the second interception tonight. Butter. Simple as that, really. Receiver mistiming the pass. Also, probably not the best decision there uh, due to the amount of people in that area. Both defenders and receivers I was in the traffic, and that will be a definite mistake. Or UCF was yet to get a possession going here. As that'll be 0 to 14, still with possession for Purdue after they get the interception. Second one here tonight. Right side rollout as Hales hurtling over the defender. Does not get sacked. Will throw a high arc pass instead. This one's going to go on a one on one. It's caught in a touchdown. Brian's death one. His second tutty of the game. Just a beautiful pass. Heaving that one across the field. And you throw a one-on-one -on -one and your receiver catches it like that. you got to trust him again. He has been phenomenal. Two touchdowns here tonight and the extra points will be good. Zero to 21. The home team really showing off here it's been UCF who has not really shown much action Let's see if that could change still in the first half four minutes and 34 seconds the ball thrown short for a short pass and that will get 10 yards on the play Eva Lasco too the legend as well in this wonderful channel a big shout out to Eva Lasco how you been incomplete pass that'll be third and five my best friends as well. Pulling out to the right side. A lot of people coming through here tonight. I appreciate that. That'll be incomplete. That'll be a fourth down and five to be exact. And they will be going for it on their own half as they should. UCF eating something here. They've been struggling. The ball thrown. Caught by the number three. 23 yards gained to get the first and 15. Getting some more attempts here. Some time left here in the second quarter of the first half. Ball thrown to the right. Caught up quickly by the number two. It's 10 yards on the play. Charlie, how you been? Charlie, how you go? How, how have you been? Hope you've been good. Sorry about that. I've been a little distracted here. Second and five. Three minutes and 34 seconds remain. It's the number one. Ball thrown to the right side. This one's definitely incomplete. 
almost hitting the wall there, third and five. And it's in 22 seconds remaining. Ball thrown again into traffic, incomplete, tipped away. Stuffed there by the defense on coverage. Left side now. As Barry rolls left side, incomplete, deflected in time. That'll be a turnover on downs. And Purdue back with possession again. Two interceptions and a turnover on downs. This defense has really stepped up to the plate here for Purdue. And the offense have yet to make a mistake. Ball thrown short. Will be caught by the number 62. Trying to get past the number 3. But will get taken down for 2nd and 7. By the line of scrimmage and a rush. Avoiding the defender and stops. Patrick Starr will make the tackle third and three. Didn't know he could come up to the surface and play some football. Third and three. Backed away. Number 99. Patrick still on him. Foot chase at the back of the end zone. Ball thrown in time, but he was popped at the end. That's going to be, oh my goodness me, a legal touch. But if that would have counted, that would have been an incredible and I mean incredible interception. Backing away. Rolling out to the right side. Ball thrown deep and this one incomplete. I will be definitely streaming for some um, uh, ultimate football. Again, I've been uh, preaching about the game the longest saying it was going to be amazing and I'm very happy that it's turned out to be that way. Um, again, uh, we've had a lot of friends who ended up obviously developing uh, stadium wise and uh, even as for the pads and stuff you're seeing one of the guys that has been involved with that big shout out to Woodall25 um, again a lot of stadium makers uh, involved in that that did an amazing job so uh, big shout out to all of them big shout out to Cloudburst uh, for the amazing uh, game that we're seeing but yeah, we will be streaming for LFG uh, Ultimate Football. We will also be streaming for AFL still. Ball thrown short. Caught up by the number two. And that will get a couple of yards on the play. Make it 13 to be exact. Second and one. We're going to get a lot of bowl game. I'm trying to just go all out again, you guys. It's been a long time. We're back. We're going to be trying to be active again. That is the goal. Second and one. The ball thrown with a high yard pass again. It's caught. And a touchdown. Wonderful catch from the receiver. I'd love to say his name, but that is a lot of letters lumped up together. As Merce for the extra point attempt will be good. Seven here finally on the board for UCF. But ASL World Cup, we will definitely be streaming some real soccer again. Um, we have two things in mind. Right now it is definitely for uh, Soccer Universe. The other is going to be uh, for a, a league that I used to stream for uh, I wanted to stream for them earlier but again a lot of stuff came up uh, a lot of things basically going on man but uh, we're, we're going to be streaming for that league again it's called ECL English Conference Leagues uh, so we're going to have just different types of roast soccer out there I have yet to get a call up from PRS again so we're not really you know conversating much so we'll see but right now uh, for sure uh, soccer Universe and ECL for Row Soccer. We will also be streaming uh, Row Basketball again. Uh, we'll be getting some RB World 4 in uh, as the way we should have a, a while back. We want to get some league gameplay in. As Hale's looking to go forward, stopped around the 45 yard line, second and six. Remember me from Row Soccer? Of course I do. How have you been, Mermy? Uh, you are one of my. Uh, you were definitely somebody I knew, of course, from the uh, North Americans that played. I appreciate you, man. Uh, I got to play against you in some old row soccer and then also, what, PFA? That was a lot of fun. Maybe some Rifa. I don't remember if you played much of Rifa. Actually, no. Wait, no. I'm thinking of... I swear, it's either you're that person or you're the person that I played with and when I played in uh, Jensen's. Are you? 
I know I'm pretty sure I'm right though. I'm pretty sure you've been around for a while I Have a score uh, uh, Depends for for ASL I'm gonna be trying to work a lot more with RSPN you guys a lot of the stuff we've had in the past uh, we're Gonna have to try to figure some things out for that <laughs> Been a while so fourth and six three seconds remaining of the first half and let's get back into the game here as this should be the final play of the half and the final attempt here Purdue as they're trying to get another touchdown in I'm looking to go for the field goal they want six points maybe more on the board it's caught but that will end off the first half as he's down at the five and that will be the end of the first half and getting ready to start off the second now as halftime is completely underway. Thank you so much for joining us. Once again, I go by the name of Kiri Kali. You guys are watching the LFG and Roblox Football Fusion 2 contents live on the channel here on Twitch. Kiri Kali. It's been a blessing to be back. I do appreciate the 13 viewers watching at home, of course. Gonna try our best to, to be active again though ladies and gentlemen. We're trying to debate though uh, I might be looking into streaming some games Depending on the days of the week on Twitch some days. I want to try on TikTok. I've been seeing go really well for a good friend of mine Roblox Sporting Network uh, got a lot of viewers in one of his TikTok uh, games That was for NBA. I'm not gonna lie to you NRBA Hasn't been the same since not again nothing against them. It's more so just like uh, I don't know just just time itself. I don't know what it is But uh, that is amazing for them because that probably got them a lot of people to pull up and uh, try to join again So big shout out to Roblox supporting network. Congratulations on that um, But but yeah, we're gonna try maybe to stream some uh, stuff on TikTok. That'll be third and two UCF back with possession again. They still have a chance here only a two possession uh, lead here for Purdue They have to really minimize on their mistakes. They have a wide open receiver on the right side Not looking to throw there at all throws it short instead of dime EQ. Also a really good uh, option right there and YouTube and TikTok sensation has a really wonderful content creating uh, ability, of course, and not only that, but can show it on the field what he could do. Here for some Roblox football that could have been tipped away and right into the hands of Purdue at his second and 15. I'm gonna do a Roblox football league. Uh, you can definitely do so, especially now that, again, a new game is coming out. Uh, well, not new, coming out. I, I don't know if it's done public release yet. Anybody want to tell me about that? Ultimate Football is the game to try to make a league in right now. Uh, you will already have competition, though. It's uh, <laughs> two big leagues and more, I'm sure. So, uh, definitely, if you're going to make a league, you better start now. Oh. Thinking about it, that's picked off! And that will be Purdue possession again after that interception. Hales with his second interception here tonight. Otherwise known as Calvin. He has had lots and lots of big plays here for his team this evening. Wonderful performance, if I do say so myself. Ball thrown deep onto the left side, caught up by the number 12 for 41 yards. Here in the third quarter, three minutes and seven seconds remain. Moving out to the right side. Has a chance to throw it short. We'll throw it long instead. Back of the end zone, but out of bounds. Incomplete. Empted a reel there, the receiver. Uh, that was not going to happen. That was still a great effort. Nonetheless, two minutes and 58 seconds. Ball thrown short. Caught by the number 62. 13-yard gain. And May 5th is a release. Yo, I gotta talk to I gotta talk to Cloudburst, man. We gotta get something going for my, my team there. I wanna definitely see a Cinco de Mayo uh, uniform for, for Mexico uh for, for, for Mexico City Aztecs. That roll out. Fourth and one. 
Opportunities not really found here. Lots of great defensive coverage. Ball throw right into traffic and almost into the hands of the opposition. Regardless, the turnover on downs, a pressure work there for UCF, and they still have a chance to get things going. Two possession, uh, two possessions down right now. Ball thrown down the middle, incomplete. The number 29 was the intended receiver. Ah, hell yeah, we definitely got to talk to uh, Jason about that. My goodness. Ball thrown deep. This one all the way back in the end zone. Incomplete. That'll be a third down here for UCF. And again, they need to take advantage of the turnovers that they've been able to commit. Ball thrown down the middle. Cut over the number 29. And they'll get the first down. First and 15. Yeah, so I've heard. Again, I'm really excited. Uh, I love the gameplay. I was playing it myself for a good couple of days. I didn't get to play too much, but I loved it, man. And again, I don't even have to do anything. They don't like they have everything for me. They have replays. They got stats. There's stuff like, I mean, maybe we could do something big for like the bowl games again. But uh, that is just phenomenal. Big shout out to to Cloudburst for what they've done. Really great stuff. Third and five. Side so rollout again. Ball throw! Cuts! The number seven got himself the first touchdown if for CF. They get another. As Barry. Bro, shorts. Dimey Q. Getting the no gain. Defenders on him there. Five seconds and counting down. Barry. Aping on the left side. Lots of defensive pressure, but the ball thrown in time. Wide open receiver. It's caught. And a touchdown. As Merst. Wide open. That's a great route there. Nobody on him. And I'm talking about for seconds. Wonderful job there from the receiver. Great look. That will be the one to make it a one possession uh, lead right now for Purdue. They do get possession now. See what they can do with it. Last one was a turnover on downs. See what this one can become. Conqueror Curly, thank you so much for the follow earlier. Welcome to Bro Nation and hope you enjoyed today's stream. Right side rollout and away we go on the return. As Calvin moving forward, look at him, taunts before even getting taken down. That is some disrespectful stuff right there. Left side here, backed away. I mean Q, right in front of the face of Calvin. Ball thrown to the right side, caught up by Ouchie, who gets the catch and a first down. Moving forward, up to the 30 and stopped. 35-yard gain. Hey, hey, Reese, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to Vro Nation and hope you enjoyed today's stream. Left side rollout as Hales, a.k.a. Calvin, throws a left. Incomplete. Receiver beating his man, but not able to get the catch. Second and 15. How you doing? Welcome. Is it Reese or is it Reese? Uh, sorry if, if I mispronounced that. Let me know in the chat. Again. Love first time, people. I appreciate you joining. That'll end the third quarter, starting off the fourth now. Third and 15. 14 to 21 is the score. Purdue with possession. The ball thrown short, incomplete. For those that don't know, again, uh, uh, Purdue is the ones in blue and red. And it is UCF are the ones in white and red. What is good? How you doing? No good on the extra points. And actually with the field goal. Uh, I'm not too sure what's happening there. Here we go. As UCF with possession, the Knights trying to throw a deep pass all the way down the field. This one's caught and taken down in time. But look at the amount of yards gained. That is this close to the goal line. 
And now the rush stopped and a loss of yards. That's a sack there for the number 23. Out on short, it's good again. A one yard gain. That's a third and goal. Not allowing this team to get it so easily despite being this close. Big pass. Rolling left side. The pass thrown. It completes. Wide open receiver. The number three was the intended receiver. Either a mistimed pass, maybe a little off. Regardless, there's a rush. Taken down and a turnover. The wall from Purdue managed to work. And now there's a deep pass thrown again. And this one's out of bounds and completes. Second and 15. Rolling out to the left side. Good, good pressure coming in here. The pass is thrown again, a high arc pass. Two on two, and this is going to be tipped away. Incompletes. Right side roll out. Third and 15. Trying to find a man open. The ball thrown short, cut up by X as he gets down. 16 yards and a first down here for Purdue. Good pressure coming in from this defense and throughout the night. But again, Calvin able to escape with no problems. Taken down hard. Nine yard gain. Second and six. Right side rollout. Nope. Backed away. Ball thrown short. Incomplete. Timed catch there by the receiver. Moving quickly as they move to the left instead. Two receivers down the middle. That's not going to be thrown, surely. And take it down in a sec. And look at the yards lost. They'll have to punt it here. But that was a tremendous play by the defensive end. This defensive line for Purdue, or not Purdue, sorry, for UCF has definitely done its job. And now they get possession back and a one possession lead still for Purdue, but so many turnovers. Football has been given on both sides very quickly. The ball thrown down the middle. It's incomplete. The number four, uh, 54 was the intended receiver. Drama happening here. Two minutes and 20 seconds and counting down. Ball thrown short to the number two. Gets the catch. Trying to spin his way out of this one. But right into the defender. The number one who will get the tackle. Third and nine. Ball thrown short again. 26 yards on the play. More, more so a long pass than the short. Sorry. First and 15, a minute and 50 seconds. Ball thrown short again, this time the dime. Who was unable to get the catch. That one tipped away. I think that was a swat there. Now second and 15. Barry. Throws downfield, incomplete. That'll be third and 15 now. Minute and 43 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. The game extremely close. UCF trying to find a way to tie this game back up. They have yet to get a lead in this one. Barry looking down the field. Hoping to find the best opportunity. Throws it right side into traffic. It's picked off. My user, it is Kiri Kali. Same as my Twitch channel here. In case you need to uh, see how to spell it. Fortunately, you are not able to join the game. It is a league match. However, if you are looking to join, say exclamation mark LFG for more information. Again, exclamation mark LFG for more information. Right side rollout with the ball thrown short to tough. Incomplete on the pass. Second down. 
I just uh, broadcast for, for this league here. Oh, but the line of scrimmage, a fake pass, and it's going to be a rush. Diving out of bounds, 10 yards on the play, third down. And then 11 seconds left here. And it's Purdue who are going to try their best to hopefully get the dagger. It's something going here. It's just a minute now remaining, diving out of bounds. A minute and three seconds to be exact, four yards. Or four yards on the play, fourth and inches. They need to get this first down. Calvin. Throws wide open. Cut. And we'll get the first down. And look at a spin away again. 34 yards on the play for the first and 15 for Purdue. And the one minute warning is called. This is crunch time. Left side rollout. And already looking down the field for an open man. Not going to find it that quickly. Throws and out of bounds. Gets the catch. That will be second and six. Somehow getting that catch in bounds and going out of bounds right afterwards. Left side here, second and six. Backed away by the defense. Calvin with 28 seconds left to waste and taken down in a sack. Timeout is called by UCF. They need to get another stop in quickly. Backed away. Yo, Sierra, how you doing? Long time no see. At least on Twitch, anyway. How have you been? Ball thrown short. 11 seconds, and a timeout is called. The final play here for Purdue. I don't know if the game just yet. Things can change, and we'll see if that happens. 10 seconds remaining. The game pretty close. They need to get a stop before the final second. If they want to get a Hail Mary throw, they're going to throw it anyway. Three seconds left, and it's tipped away, and it's one second remaining. A turnover on downs, and UCF has one last chance. Can miracles happen? We'll see if the good faith is restored. It's picked off. And that will do it. Purdue seals out the victory. UCF will lose as the final score, 14 to 21. That was a jump ball there on that one. A Hail Mary throw into the defense's hands. And look at this. We know who will be the player of the game here this evening. Hales fan, AKA Calvin. With a wonderful performance. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys have been watching on the channel of Kiri Kali. Hopefully you guys have been able to hear me okay. But again, thank you all so much for joining. I will be streaming again. I will be active again for you guys. But yes, we'll see you all next time. Peace and have a wonderful, wonderful night.